Hey, what's up, guys? Making this quick video for you guys. Um, basically, I'm gonna show you how to rip DVDs onto your computer um, using Handbrake, which is right here, and this other program, um, Fairmount for VLC 32-bit. Now, recently, when you download Handbrake right off of the Handbrake website, you really can't use it because it asks you for VLC. Now, for some reason, whenever I tried downloading VLC, the 32-bit version, onto my computer, it wouldn't work. I mean, Handbrake wouldn't recognize it. So then, I was looking around, and I found this program, which I showed you right now. Basically, what this does, it unrestricts DVDs. Basically, it restricts, unrestricts all, every DVD that you can think of that may be restricted. And it makes it so the computer can recognize it until you can save it onto the hard drive. <clears throat> so basically... You need to have these two programs right here. Obviously, you need Handbrake, and you need this one right here, which I'll put a link in the description to get it. So let's just get started with this tutorial. <clears throat> so basically, first thing you need is at least a movie or something. Now in my case, I'll be using Jackass. Don't ask why. This is just a quick showing to how to do it. So basically, let's just open up this Handbrake. Now when you open it up, this is what you basically get. It's a really nice interface, say the truth. It's really simple, really clean. Um, but once you come into the really detailed, detailed part, like around here, it's kind of confusing, but you really don't need to play around with it. So basically, all you got to do is take your DVD, put it into your computer, like so. <clears throat> Let me just minimize this for a second. And at first, when you put in the DVD, obviously the movie will come up so you just gotta quit that just give me a second for this as you can see the DVD is right there now the movie's popping up so let me just quit this quickly alright now next thing you gotta do well actually first thing you gotta do is open this right here and when you open this hopefully it'll open from right here okay I guess not alright hold on one second Alright, so you open that, this little program will pop up right here. Now when you gotta let this finish up, what this is doing right now it is um, unrestricting the, the video so it can work with Handbrake. So now that that's done, the, it won't appear as a DVD anymore. It'll appear, it'll appear <clears throat> as a little, like a little program thing. I'm not sure what it's really called, but it'll appear like that. So now that that's done, you open this up. Let me close this again. Hold on one second, I'm sorry. So you open this up again. And now you click on this right here. Now you click open, and it'll look and it'll scan the DVD for a minute or two. Now usually this takes a while, so um, I'm not really gonna go through the whole specs of it, about this because this might take a while. Because usually it depends on how long the DVD is. It usually takes hours or so. But in quick words for you guys, as you can see, it's loading right now. So once this right here is done loading. Um, it'll give you the option, and now that you go, I let it go through this for a second. So let me just give you a quick description about this. So once it's done loading up, like so, like I told you, you had an option of what kind of format you would choose. Now, basically, I like this because it allows you to choose like from an iPod, Apple TV, and MP4, and all that stuff. Which for me, I always pick iPod Touch because you know that's what I basically use and everything. So. I picked the iPod Touch, and it does come out in good quality. Um, let me just show you one that I ripped already, and I have saved on the computer here from the I've that I've used. This. Let me just show you one quickly. As you can see right here, these two I ripped off of the actual DVD. This one too, the Eagle Eye, same thing. Um, Notorious. This one right here. The, um, I forget what the heck it's called. And this one is recently. I just copied this like two days ago. Um, I rented a DVD from Blockbuster and everything. Now, I don't recommend doing that because that's like trying to say that you're just trying to save movies, which I do. I'm not even going to lie. But I don't recommend it. So let me just show you quickly how quality it is. So as you guys can see, it is good quality. Let me just put this right there. It's 
it's not really bad quality, as you guys might see. It's like the, it's like the original DVD is if you were playing it right off the DVD. So basically, guys, that's basically it. Um, as you can see, I'm gonna just let this keep going for a while, and um, this is just a quick guided tour of how to use this. Now, one more thing: when you finish with this, all you really gotta do is just hit start. Because once it's done, once you choose once you choose what format you want it to be in, all you gotta do is hit start right here. And once you do that, you just gotta let it go. Down here a little bar will come up that you have to finish letting it load. And once it's done loading, it'll appear on your desktop or wherever you choose it to save it to. And then you can just play right off iTunes or QuickTime or whatever um media program you use. So yeah guys, um that's basically it. Um please rate five stars if you like this video, comment. Um, please leave to message me for if anything a request of a video or something you know because it's a little bit hard to know what you guys would like to watch and please subscribe to this channel um, I'll be having a giveaway soon for I think well let's just say a, an iTunes gift card we'll put that um, I'll be having a giveaway of an iTunes gift card um, I'll think about how much outside to give away um, but help me reach at least 20, 20 subscribers and I'll do the giveaway, guys. So keep that in mind. The giveaway coming up for once I reach 20 subscribers. And yeah. So like I said, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'd like to hear your opinions. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.